Hello guys, my name is Abuzar. Today I am back with a new topic. Some of my YouTuber viewers asked me to make a video with the installation of Visual Studio 2019. Uh, it's a free version that is community and uh, asked me to link the assembly language during uh, to write assembly language code. First of all, we will in download 2019 Visual Studio from the official Microsoft website. As you can see on my screen, I am downloading community file and uh, i have downloaded its uh, online installer so let's run its online installer after clicking uh, on online installer uh, now we will uh, use it for further installation of 2019 visual studio So let's begin the installation process. The installation time is dependent on your computer speed. As you can see on my screen, Visual Studio Installer has been opened. Now click on install and it will take few time to download and then installing this installer. As you can see on my screen, the installer has been downloaded and then now it is being just installing and after a few time it uh, the installation will also completed and now we will move further to the process of selecting development c++ file from the installer yes the installation process has been completed as you can see on screen and uh, now the installer is uh, getting everything ready and installer dialog box has been opened and now you have to select development desktop development with c++ and enable cli support for from the right menu and then click on install as you can see the total space is required is 7.78 gb then click on install the Visual Studio uh, will begin to install and uh, you can uh, uh, cancel this survey not now as you can see I have already installed Visual Studio 2017 uh, but I am I want to do linker setting on 2019 yeah Visual Studio 2019 has been installed now we want to restart the your computer after restarting our computer we will run the 2019 installer so let's run the 2019 Visual Studio. As you can see in my search box, I have installed 2017, and but now I am opening 2019 Visual Studio. It will take you time to start, and uh, for the first time it will ask you to sign in, but you can skip and uh, then select your theme for the first time use. and now create a new project to write our assembly language code then empty project select the first one from the top and then click on next basically we are writing in c++ but we will convert this c++ to in assembly language after doing linker setting Type here your project name and location where you want to store your project and then click on create after creating your project in some of visual studios you will find some files in source files but here i have created an empty project so there is no files in the source files to start writing assembly language code first of all we have to do the linker setting to do the linker setting just follow these steps
right click on your project name that is uh, here i have typed assembly startup and then go to the build dependencies and then build customizations and uh, mark tick here mesm and then press on ok then right click on source files click on add item new item change the extension of your files dot cpp to dot asm and then click on add then right click on your project name then go to properties for to perform linker settings as you can see the linker option and additional library directories you have to add here our wine folder that will be the directory folder of uh, our assembly language i will provide this r1 folder in the description of my video you can download it from there select r1 folder and then click on okay and then click on apply then go to linker all options and additional dependencies then type here the directory rwine32.lib this will be the library file that we will use during the uh, in execution of assembly language code then click on ok then go to microsoft macro assembler here you have to include the path of your rwine folder that is placed in your computer so just copy the rwine folder path and I'll paste it here so i have pasted here the path of our one folder now we will write the basic assembly language syntax to check whether our linker setting is working or not so first of all dot 386 include irwine32.inc dot model small dot stack under dash as you know this is the basic syntax of the assembly language code that, that we will write to, to further check whether is our linker setting is working or not dot data the portion where you initialize variables dot code where you write the working statements of your program invoke exit exit process to exit the program then main np to end the main program and end main then we will build our solution it will take a little bit time as you can see on screen build is succeeded now you can write your assembly language thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe